What's going on guys? It's your boy, it's Kaz, and we're back with another one. Today we are going to be reacting to Rio Brothers, Sultans of Swing, Dire Straits. I think that that's what it says. But let's get right into this and see what they got cooking. One, two, three. Shiver in the dark, it's already in the park But meantime Sound of the river is stopping to hold everything A band is blowing Dixie, double for time You feel right when you hear the music ring Inside, but you don't see too many faces Coming in out of rain to hear the jazz go down Like I said, those three, those three in the picture look like brothers, no lie. They look like brothers, straight up. But then you add in the other one, and he does not look like a brother. I'm not, like, 100% honest, he does not look anything like a brother of them. So, it, it is, the, is the person to the left, I think of, I think, yeah, it would be the left. Is the person to the left still a brother? Is there, like, four brothers? I don't know, it, it'd be kind of like Fourth Harmony then. You know, all sisters and then all brothers, you know? It'd be dope for a collab. Four sisters, four brothers getting on a collab, fucking jamming out. That'd be dope. But I'm definitely interested. Like, these three right here look like brothers, no doubt. But that last one, uh, I don't know. He kind of looks like he just joined in. Competition in other places. The butter horns, they blowing that sound. We on down south. We on down south. London time. That's the first time I've ever seen an audio cord connected to the drum set. Right there, underneath the R, an audio cord is connected to the drum set. That is the first time I've literally ever seen an audio cord connected to the drum set. I don't know what it's being used for, because usually the, dr the drums... I'm sorry, I'm a little tipsy right now. But the drums are like the usually the loudest thing ever in the set. Louder than the singer, louder than the guitars, you know, louder than everything. So I'm wondering why they have that on an audio cord as well, you know, because they definitely have the piano on one that if you don't have that on one, you're just losing out, you know, on the quality, basically, because the piano, don't get me wrong, it has some of the best sounds, right? But it, sometimes it can be very quiet during a song, you know, so if you don't have that plugged into the like, you know, the amplifier, it, it's not going to sound as as good. Um, but they definitely have all the guitars plugged in. There's no doubt about that. But the drums, like I said, I I'm interested in that. Because usually that's just like right off, you know, I'm going to say right off key. You know, you can hear that no problem. That has me interested. You check out Guitar George. He knows all the chords. But a circular in him, he doesn't want to make it cry or see He said an old guitar race song he can't afford When he gets up under the lights to play his thing And Harry doesn't mind if he doesn't make the scene Got a daytime job, it's doing all right. He can play the honky tonk like anything. 
saving it all Friday night. So I like the beat. Honestly, on this one, 100% honest, I like the beat way more than the vocals. The beat is... I don't know why, but the beat on this one is so fire. Like, this is something that I could see, like, a lot of people jamming to, you know? Just the beat. But the vocals... I don't know. I feel like... I don't feel like this is their full potential in vocals. 100% honest. Like, this doesn't feel like their full potential. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. This just seems like... Excuse me, but this just seems like a... A session. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> that alcohol really got to me. But um, this just seems like a, a jam session. You know what I mean? Like they're just all in the same room and they're just jamming out. You know, and they hit the record button. That's really all it seems like. You know, it doesn't seem like he's really trying his... His wholeheartedly best. You know? I don't know. That's just the vibe I'm getting. But the instrumentals of this is dope. I like the grooviness of it, that's for sure. With the sultans With the sultans of swing And the cloudy young boys they're fooling around in the corner Dress her best brown bag is in the flat form, so They don't give a damn About an air trumpet playing band It ain't what they call rock and roll Yeah, I definitely like the beat way more than the vocals. 100%. The vocals are, are, are alright. They're alright. But the beat is just so much way better. Like, it's so much more groovier. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. If, if... I don't know. I guess if Bugoy... If Bugoy came on this beat, I feel like it would be totally... Like, Bugoy would kill this beat. You know? Bugoy would take this beat and make it his own. Honestly. But it's such a groovy beat. Don't get me wrong. In the Sultans. In the Sultans, they play Quill. Quill. See what I'm saying? If you can make a song sound as good without fucking mute, like without singing, like what? They made the song sound just as good without singing, just because they were playing the guitars just as as they needed, you know? Like, bro, they're killing this shit. This shit is dope. It's so catchy, honestly.
Yo, this shit is so groovy. <laughs> oh man, I probably I just realized that I was actually reacting to this. You know, I I I totally forgot, but this shit is so groovy. I'm having such a great time over here. Like this shit, I I just got sucked into trans. I don't even know how long I went. <laughs> oh man, this shit is so good, yo. I love this. This is groovy as a motherfucker. Oh man, I, honestly, like I said, the vocals, hundred percent. Could be better, you know, no doubt. But the instruments in this, they're killing it. They're killing it. It's me. Like, this just makes me so jealous. Like, I just want to be able to play a guitar like that. Or play any instrument. You know what I mean? Like, my hair is crazy right now. Holy sheesh. But no, I just want to play any instrument like that. Like, jeez. They are killing this shit. This is something I would throw onto my playlist just to throw it on. You know what I mean? Like... I love it. I love it. The Philippines have so many talents. It's it's crazy. The drummer took that so seriously, honestly. He literally knocked the picture of Rio Brothers off. At the beginning, if you look, the Rio Brothers picture is on the drum set, right? To where he uses his foot pedal. And then at the end of it, the Rio Brothers picture is hanging off because he just was so into it that he uses... Bro, they killed that. They killed that. I love that shit. Yo, this was dope. This was dope. They definitely have a groovy, a groovy vibe to them, you know. I want to say, like, early 2000s vibe, you know, for me at least. I, you guys could have a different vibe, but I'm getting, ooh, I just, like, slipped. But early 2000s vibes, definitely. They were dope. They were dope, no doubt. No doubt. With all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate all the feedback and all the support. It really means a lot. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that sub button. It would really help me out. Please hit that notification bell to see when I upload. I try to upload at least five times a week. I hope you all have a beautiful day slash night. Much love and peace out.